Hello everyone, welcome to Bell Pepper Sports' second video ever, and this is an introduction about me, the co-host of the Bell Pepper Sports podcast. Um, this channel pretty much will already wrapped it up already in his first video. It's pretty much just me and my friend Will arguing about sports topics, news, uh debating about things like that. And um yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh just to get to know me, my favorite football team is the Giants, I mean. You could kind of see here uh Giants, Giants whatever. Um my favorite Yankee team, uh, my baseball team is the Yankees. I just got this one. It's a Glaber Torres jersey. Um, I also like the Knicks and Nets for basketball. Um, I grew up watching Nets, but I mean it's, it's New York, so I pretty much kind of have to like the Knicks. So here's the Knicks thing. It's kind of ripped up, but. Yeah, uh, my favorite players from both all of those teams are Saquon, of course, for the Giants. I mean, he's like the brightest spot this organization has had since like Odell. And yeah, I uh, my favorite Yan uh, Yankee player is Glaber Torres. I mean, most people like Aaron Judge, but I like Aaron Judge, of course. But I think Glaber could just be a better player. I think he has a little bit more potential. He's just younger. I think he just shows more promise. Um, for Knicks and Nets, I mean, for the Knicks, I like, uh, for some reason, I just like Kevin Knox. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's so many other players like Mitchell Robinson, R.J. Barrett, but I just like Kevin Knox. He's just that guy. Um, for the Nets, I'm like a, I'm a pretty decent Spencer Dinwiddie fan. I'm not like a huge fan. I never really liked KD, but of course I'm liking him a little bit more, but I just like Spencer Dinwiddie a lot. Um, well anyway, so, baseball, baseball basketball is back, that's fun, <laughs> uh, we haven't had that in about like three or four months, which has made my, my life pretty boring because that's pretty much what this channel's about. Like, my life is pretty much about right now. Um, so predictions, uh, the Yankees, I think, I think the Yankees are going all the way this year. I mean, I've been thinking that for about three years now, but, I mean, I, I think it's just lining up perfectly this year. Like, the, the small season, the short season, I think the that will play to the Yankees' advantage, and it already has, with Judge coming back. Aaron Hicks will come back earlier, I think. Um, our injury problems, I think, will be settled finally with the shorter games. Not shorter games, shorter season. But I'm happy where the Yankees are right now. I think this is our year with the new addition of Garrett Cole. Uh, he, he's a huge addition. That will really help our uh, rotation a lot. I wish Sevy wasn't Severino, wasn't um, injured, but I mean... That's just what the Yankees have been the past two years, just injured. Um, Stanton's back, of course. He's healthy, better than ever. Um, yeah. Uh, the Giants, uh, they're uh, very... They have a lot of upside. Um, the Giants, they... They're not great, but... They they have promise. I think in about a year we'll be contenders. This year I think is like a building year for our new coach Joe Judge, Jason Garrett, um, guys like that. Uh, Daniel Jones will progress. Saquon I think he's already the best running back in the league, of course, but um, he's just amazing. Like he can do anything. Um, Darius Slayton, he's going to progress a lot. Andrew Thomas, our O line, Will Hernandez, Kevin Zeitler, um, Nate Solder. I just want him out, of course. But uh, defensive wise, the Giants. I mean, DeAndre Baker, 
He's shown some flashes, but overall he hasn't been that great. But I think he could come back and be good if he actually plays this year because of his little situation he's he's in. Um, Jabril Peppers, I think this is his breakout year. Lorenzo Carter, he's pretty good. Blake Martinez, I like that addition a lot. Like, the Blake Martinez edition. I mean, like, I've seen him play. He's He gets tackles, but he's like... He's not that guy the Giants could rely on. But he's still young. He's about 25, 26 around there. Um, but, yeah, he's... I think he'll be, like, a centerpiece for this defense if he progresses. Not yet, but he'll be up there. But the Giants are really... Um, like, a, going to be a strong team in, in about a year or two if injuries don't hold them back, like, in the 2017 season. Um, for basketball, I'm not... I'm a basketball fan, of course, but I'm not, like... I don't go into depth with basketball like I do with baseball and football. Like, that's just, like... Basketball, I know, of course. Like, the Knicks are garbage, of course. The Nets, I kind of wish Kyrie and Katie were going to play. Because I think we would go all the way. I mean, at least the uh, conference championship, at least, if Ky Kyrie and Katie were in it. But, I mean, I think we can maybe, like, maybe get past, uh, if, you could get, if we could get past the, um, oh my gosh, like you could see right now, I don't know anything that much about basketball. Uh... I think we need like luck on our side to get past the first round this uh this year without Katie or Kyrie. But we'll see. Uh what could happen. The Knicks are a garbage dump, of course, but I think that same with the Knicks. If in about a year or two, I think they'll end up being playoff contenders. Like they'll be up there. I think. I mean, RJ Barrett, uh Kevin Knox, Mitchell Robinson, they're all young. Um, Frank, Frank Nilakina, he's, I mean, he's okay. Maybe if we get a good draft pick, like, I mean, you know, the Knicks luck, they're not going to, I mean, they're most likely not getting in the top two. They can, but, I mean, LaMelo would be a huge addition. I would, like, love LaMelo on the team. Um, Anthony Edwards, pretty good. Um, Obi Toppin, he's, he's okay. Uh, no, okay, he's good, but for our team, I think I would pick LaMelo because I think he'll just thrive in New York. Just with all the media around him, everything around him, I think he'll just thrive. Um, anyway, um, with all that's going on in the world right now, um, I'm glad that sports is back. I'm also a pretty, uh, big NASCAR fan, but, I mean, that's probably not what we're talking about in, for Bell Pepper Sports. I mean, for all you NASCAR fans out there, I'm here supporting you guys, of course. But, um, predictions. Um, oh, I did predictions, but standing predictions. Um, for the Yankees, the, um, AL, the AL, um, the AL East, the Yankees will most likely win. Then I'll probably have it followed up by the Rays. Then... I think the Blue Jays will be up there because their young team I think could like spark if, if with the 60 game season coming up like the Tigers could have like a possible 40 game run and make the playoffs like that anything could happen but I think the Blue Jays might might make the playoffs they have a chance if they get hot with their young team they have Bo Bichette, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. of course um, like, with those guys, uh, so many other players, uh, Biggio, um, Gur uh, not Guerrero, uh, what's his name? Guriel, of course, but with those guys, they'll be, I think, they'll be third in the division, then fourth with the Red Sox, with, uh, the Red Sox will be fourth, and then Orioles fifth. I don't see the Orioles doing anything for another three years, but, uh, I like their, um, uh, catcher they got like a year ago their first pick I don't know what his name is I think it's like Adley Rutschman or something like that but I think he'll be a good catcher in years to come um 
Uh, football, I think I, I have the Eagles because the Eagles already dis uh, beat the Cowboys, like came back in the division with their team they had already, like the injury riddled team from last year. And now with everyone healthy, they could win 11 games this year. I haven't really checked out their schedule, but they could win 11, 10 or 11 games. Um, the Cowboys love to choke. They have they have a good team, like on paper. But Mike McCarthy, I've heard this before. He is, I think, from uh, what's his name? I I don't know, but I wasn't well prepared for this. But um, I've heard this from Colin Coward. Um, Mike McCarthy is Jason Garrett with a better resume. I mean, I would be amazing if I had Aaron Rodgers. I would be an amazing coach if I had Aaron Rodgers in his prime as my quarterback. But, I mean, the Cowboys have a great offense, like top 10 in every single stat, like rushing, passing, um, points scored, I think. Um, they've had some pretty good stats, but I don't know if it will if it, their defense will step up because DeMarcus Lawrence very overrated especially in Madden he's not a superstar X factor in any way possible um Jalen Smith he's a good young linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch, he's been in he was injured last year we'll see how he is um their cornerbacks are kind of the issue just their whole their like defensive backs in general I mean they ha they got ha ha Clinton Dix um, but Xavier Woods, he's okay. And then Trayvon Diggs, that was, that was a pretty good uh, addition. And then Chita Bay Awuzie, of course. I mean, he's he's okay. I don't think he's he's a he's a solid number two cornerback on a team. I don't think he will be that number one cornerback that the Cowboys are looking for in him. But I mean, anything could happen, especially with the Cowboys. They're always really lucky and always really garbage. At the same time, you never know with the Cowboys anymore. Um, their defensive line, Don Terry Poe, they got Gerald McCoy. Uh, those are, like, they're aging, but they could, they're solid for a year. I already talked about DeMarcus Lawrence. Uh, I, I don't even keep up with the Cowboys enough to even know if Robert Quinn is back or not. Um, but, anyway... Third, I have the Giants. Uh, well, the Cowboys actually. Before I go on with the Giants, um, the Cowboys. I say they'll go nine and seven, eight and eight around there. They could go around there, that area. I haven't really checked out their schedule that much either, but I know they're versing like tough teams. But actually, I don't know if that's. I don't know. But anyway, third, the Giants. I think. I think this will. It's a major drop off from the Cowboys to the Giants and then the Redskins there. But the Giants in about a year or two will compete. Uh they'll they'll be up there. I trust Dave Gettleman. May not many people do, but I think I tr I have to trust him. I mean he's my GM. <laughs> I mean I have to trust him. But uh the Giants are have a very tough schedule. They have Steelers, uh, Bears start start of the season. I think they could, they could take one from the Bears. They have a chance with the Steelers. I mean, their defense though, the Steelers defense is just amazing. Devin Bush, Minka Fitzpatrick, um, their cornerbacks are pretty great. Um, are pretty good. They're not amazing, but Steve Nelson. But that defense of the Steelers, I think, will just dominate the Giants. But there's a chance that the Steelers' defense could just be all talk. But the Bears, we could take one from them. We took one from them in 2018, I think. I think it was 2018. And in overtime, of course. Um, but the Giants, I think they'll go 7-9, and 8-8, eight and eight, around that area. So maybe 6-10. and 10. They're not as bad as what people think. I've seen people rating them like 4-12, and 12, like 3-13. and 13. That's like... That no, no way. I mean, they have to like completely f fall off for them to go like that to be that bad. But I say six and ten to eight and eight around that area. Um, the Redskins. I just saw a uh, a video, and the Redskins had a top, had I think the worst offense in the league last year. 
like stat wise and they they didn't really improve their offense that much in the draft they pretty much just buffed up their defensive line which already is a good defensive line but stat wise they're not that amazing when you think about it and Chase Young won't be able to absolutely revolutionize a complete team I mean like he's a rookie no no real training camp no real practice the rookies will have it tough this year but I say the Redskins could go 4-12, 5-11, maybe sneak up there around 7-9, and nine, but the East, the NFC East is a little bit better than what people think, I think. Um, anyway, uh, Knicks, Nets, their season hasn't even ended yet, so we never know. Uh, like I said, Knicks are out. The Nets, they're, they're up there, but... We'll see. We'll really see how the Nets do next season. We'll really see that. Um. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, I'm not forgetting that much. It's not as long as a video of Will's, but we'll see. See you later.